I don't know what we want to call like this type of episode. You know what I mean? Like the, yeah. a, a documentary review seems to be like an emerging theme for us. I I just feel like it's like just things in our real, real like if I saw this pre pod, mm-hmm. I would have told you about it and ranted about it. That's a good point. This would have this if this wasn't a podcast, this would be us in the kitchen at two a.m. Yeah, having the same conversation so like is, we did about the say you love me. Say you love me. We had the same thing. Yeah, absolutely. So this type of pod is us in the kitchen at two a.m. Yeah, this 2 is a two a.m. rant. Should have done it for say you say you love me. To be quite Honestly, off. we really should have because you yeah. made me laugh so hard with the. <sighs> and those are she's lost like, in the goddamn way. She's like abusing this dude and being like, "I love him," and her, you're like her husband's like, I, I, "I bought his tickets to the Bahamas." <laughs> this guy like can't talk. Yeah, I mean, if you, <laughs> it's a whole other documentary. Yeah, that that's you a whole watch. other story. But it's, uh, yeah, I mean, the long gist of it is that a older white woman is basically rapes a disabled guy who has the brain of like a like who's I mean, not it's fucking horrible. It's a it's horrific like, story. Not even but, funny, but it is. But it is the guy. She did have like a husband and a family. So you gotta wonder, like, it sucks to and be. And she wasn't on. like I'm abused. She was like, no, no, no. I love his personality. Like she, you know what I mean? Like she was like, I like him for him. Like that's why. That's why the only funny thing about it is the husband. The her husband's husband reaction. Like, what does he have that I don't? Yeah, and he's just like, well, I can. I, like, I like, put on both of my pants by myself every day. I'm like cooking you dinner and fucking yeah. eating your pussy and doing cartwheels. <laughs> I'm like, what am I doing wrong? Yeah. I helped. I helped build a deck last weekend, and then she just out. <laughs> Stealing the humanity from a young, nonverbal young man. I mean, it's truly horrible. But this one is uh, horrible in a different way. Horrible in a And easier deeply. to make fun of, I think. Because Wait, because the whole situation is absurd. And the guy behind it is, I think, the biggest tool I've seen on screen. He might be like, when you, in your head, say the word douchebag, he appears. The documentary we're, of course, talking about is the man, man with, with a thousand, thousand children. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. I was saying 1,000, 1,000. What's the correct? I mean, 1,000, 1,000? It's, it's whatever the, it is. At the end, if you watch all three, they estimate it's around 3,000. <gasps> really? Yeah. Oh, my God, because I only watched the first episode, and I Googled how many children did Genghis Khan have. They were, like, maybe 1,000 or more. Yeah. He's, like, a modern-day Genghis Khan. Yeah. Well, you know what's crazy? Have we, off the pod, talked about this guy before the documentary came out? Mm, no. Oh, yeah, because I don't know why, but they were, like, showing clips of the YouTube channel. I was like, I've seen his YouTube channel. I have, like, seen clips of him being like, I'm eating raw meat in the woods in Sweden or whatever. I was like, I fucking know that guy. That's But I disturbing. can't remember if I, like, I might have found him because there was a gynecologist I was going to go to. I was trying to find a place that would do an IUD insertion with, like, some level of pain management. And there was this place in, like, Rochester, New York, where they were like, we'll put you under full anesthesia. Don't even worry about it. It's a bald male gynecologist. Where yeah, you're just like, oh, he creepy vibes. He's like, don't, oh, you'll be fine, sweetheart. Drink a bottle of rose when you wake up, and it'll all be done. And, and you're like, I don't like, know if that's. I don't even line. have an IUD. You just fucked me. Like, <laughs> yeah. that was the But I was like, whatever. I want to find a place that does this. I, I woke up with it. an IOU card. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is going on here? <laughs> but, dude, it turns out the doctor in Rochester had been, uh, like, women would go there for, like, fertility stuff and they'd be like yeah yeah sperm bank and they found out that he had just been using his own sperm for all of it yeah so i was like don't exactly want to be unconscious around that guy no but i was doing a deep dive on that guy and maybe that's how i found this dude's youtube channel i don't know but i've seen the dude's youtube channel and it's very like he's probably going to be on joe rogan he's like traveling the world talking about bitcoin talking about like eating raw meat in the woods see this is my biggest gripe with the document so like uh, if you watch it, basically, it's about these... It's a real sad tale, but these, like, moms in the Netherlands, for whatever reason, can't have a kid naturally. So they're looking for a sperm, der- sp- sperm donor. They find this guy, you know, conventionally handsome, long blonde hair, plays the guitar, speaks some languages. They're fooled by him. And then he's like, I can help uh, you. You'll be, like, one of five families that I donate. And they're like, I'm so honored. And then they find out that he's has multiple identities... Multiple websites, multiple countries around the world, and he's lying to all of them and part of this weird conquest. Now, this is where I lose some sympathy for the victims, and it's what you just brought up here. It's a lot of them, pre-fooled, they go, yeah, he had these wacky YouTube videos (laughs) where he's eating raw meat and talking about Bitcoin. 
If you see someone, if you're thinking about uh, buying, I can't donate to a sperm bank. Do you understand that? The the regulations, me went to therapy in the gym today. Guy can't. Got, they would put my cum in a biohazard bag and <laughs> set it on fire. And this fucking. Guy, like, basically, I can't. Well, in the screening process, they're like, we don't know what went wrong. And he's up there. He also has a video where he goes, inequality. First off, there's no such thing. Eating raw meat, talking about Bitcoin. There's a video that's like, end the woke mob. And they're like, yeah, throw your cum at me. Who would have thought he's a douchebag? It's so funny. That even lesbian surrogates fall for the same shit with men that straight women do. That's another thing. Because I yeah. for sure fuck the, like, Bitcoin, the whole world's rigged guy, you know? I, because, um, it really is what he did. It's not trickery. It's like, it's biological terrorism. It really- and every woman that saw the video... And let that it is an accomplice. <laughs> you gotta Rico act. All <laughs> you gotta <of> Rico, <laughs> Rico act. Those moms should go to jail too. That is the whole. Because the whole time I'm watching, this is why I wanted to do an episode about it. Because I saw my son and you and every female friend who's ever been swindled by just a moron. <laughs> <laughs> who's ever just been like what is going on with it and he's like a rock he's like if a pet rock had biceps like he's an idiot it's incredible you know what i mean and they're always like perplexed and why is he doing this what is the meaning and it's like you don't ask like why a dog shits in the street <laughs> you know what i mean and it's because fundamentally it's a mindless animal and that's that goes out to boys and girls at home if they're like why is he <laughs> ghosting me why is she acting this way because she's an idiot, or he's an idiot, or they, he's a, they, this person exists across time and all genders. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? It's absolute tool, loser, moron, who is, this guy is literally an amalgamation of everything that is wrong in humanity. <laughs> he's just an, like, but what's so bad is, instead of having, like, one night stands around Amsterdam, which he, he did, he literally, like, created such a problem in their gene pool that they're, like, worried about incest. I know, so I was like, he ruined a country. Yeah. It, it's like, what are you even charging with? You ruined a country, a nation, a people. <laughs> so, also, if it had happened in any other country, but it's the Netherlands. It's not It's, that like, big. small as fuck. It's probably already pretty inbred. Pretty inbred. You know what I mean? I'll, like, it's not like they were like, we caught this guy in, like, the U.S. or India or China yeah. where it might kind of die. It's like... The Netherlands is so tiny. Yeah. They're already wearing weird wooden shoes. They're and getting shit. weird as it is. It's like you can't inbreed. They already have like inbred homeschooler vibes. They do. And it's that's, like, I think, why they were tricked by him. Because he's not that cool. He's also not that handsome. I will yeah, say that. It's a they were like, like Geico caveman they, blonde oh, guy. Yeah, they're yeah. like, whoa, he was so hot. And I was like, what's going on in the Netherlands? I thought you guys were healthier than that. Hilarious. That's someone who just look. I mean, he walks around in Birkenstock. Also, there's a scene where at one point, like, sometimes they would get the sperm donations from him, like, they'd pick it up somewhere, they'd get it from himself, but one time he was like, why don't you just come meet me at the mall? Oh, yeah, and he jerks off in a bathroom, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is like this man is like a rabid dog trying to spread his seed. Like, he clearly has... The fact that they were like, well, I thought that was a little weird. And you're still going to put that cum in your... You want your kid to do that? You want... Your kid is half guy who's going to jerk off in the mall. Your kid is half, like, Genghis Khan weirdo uh f- also separate thing with how they get inseminated before they introduce this guy in the documentary they're talking about like going on all these websites that aren't like a fertility clinic yeah, like first off, go to a regular don't go to yeah, craigslist for cum that's yeah. absolutely absurd behavior they literally they were like we went to r slash cum and saw who had some extra laying around and then they were like yeah a lot of the guys asked if we wanted to do it the natural way and it's like yeah yeah these are guys with like a breeding fetish yeah. Go it's, to oh, a fertility clinic. Go to a fertility... Yeah, go to, like, the actual thing with rules. And, although he fucked over them, too. They're like... Yeah. It was hilarious when he's like... And then I realized <laughs> that it's everywhere and we have to call people and they're crying. Because it's like... It is like... Fuck a fuck... But like, it's like the next level of... Oh, my God. We all have his son or daughter. It's, like, so insane that he was, like... I mean, I guess he's jerking off, but it's not even like he's sleeping with all these women. He's like, I just need to do it. I don't care if it's a tube. I don't care if you have to just drain yeah. it out of my balls with a syringe. <laughs> yeah. I need to have children. Yeah. Do you think... Because my first thought was, like, I feel like this guy is also some kind of white supremacist. 100%. If he already feels a little bit in the Rogan sphere of, uh, like, 100%. natural whatever the fuck. 100% and then he's is. like, I need to... 
yeah. change a country's a, gene pool? A thousand percent, that's what he... Because it's like... I'm sure that's just a video they didn't put in the documentary, but anyone who's like, end equality, end the woke, yeah. traveling over the world, thinking I need a thousand dumb blonde kids, that's a hundred percent. Yeah, it uh, very much And I think vibe. it says something about their cause that who's left, but losers just jerking off in cups alone. <laughs> I think that is the modern day white supremacist. Just a weird, weird guy jerking off in cups alone and the fact that nobody could catch on that's like why does he have this much free time because he's like a loser Hilarious. that probably accidentally made like i don't know a hundred grand in bitcoin just was there after he like brought some fucking uh, like special kind of mdma that like m- m- is feels magical when you finger your asshole and then he, if it's like left over in his silk road account got like a hundred g's he's traveling all over the world you didn't see the i saw the all three episodes yeah i watched the end of the first one and the cliffhanger was like there's also one in like australia and you're like oh so this is like an international no it was this- him he it was his cum made it all. His cum, much like dandelions, <laughs> has all over the world. So basically, meant, there, was one, there was one of his kids. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The cliffhanger at the end of the first episode it's was like, like this It's all over the world. It was like Mexico, U.S. This can't. man could ruin the world. Yeah. yeah. And then, like, but, literally, like, how many... I wonder what the critical tipping point is where it's like, we would have a hard time. Like, everyone has to check to make sure they're not inbreeding. Well, oh, okay, this is going to sound bad. Yeah. I'm not pro inbreeding, but I have heard that it takes like generations to get like those like royal families and shit back in the day when it was like King Tut fucking had a diaper and like couldn't talk or whatever. Yeah, that was like generations and generations. Yeah, so you're saying you fuck like one half sibling, you're fine. That's official take on the pod. That's the official. (laughs) That's Maddie's Doctor Drew. You fuck one half sibling, you're fine. Not morally. I'm just saying the Netherlands might be fucked. The Netherlands might be fucked. Yeah, but I'm saying if there's a few like. Would this just die out over generations and we'll kind of reset? I think out of 7 billion people, it'll be fine. That's what I'm saying. Out of is seven, eventually it would I think like, Netherlands that's The Netherlands tough. is, you gotta, everyone has to move. Also, the, everyone in the Netherlands has to move dude, now. Just don't, also, I'm like, yeah, just don't fuck up. You just can't fuck a white person for like 100 years. At forced, this is the solution. <laughs> yeah. Government mandated interracial marriage. Yeah, and then you just get just rid of it. Just to make sure. <laughs> just to get rid of it. Maybe he's not a white supremacist. Also, uh, yeah. Maybe he's the actual opposite. He's yeah. like, I'm gonna make it impossible for white people <laughs> to is, fuck each other. Yeah, it's like a, it's a genetic <laughs> Russian roulette if you go out with anybody. Well, you haven't... Um, so you didn't watch the... But basically, like... So he's he travels around the world. He's lying to all these women on weird websites. He's also, like, different names and sperm banks filling up all over the place. And he also... The horrible thing he did, he's a terrible person, that on that website, it was him and this other really creepy guy, and they share the identities, and they also, like, split up the territory. What? Wait, they were, like, a team? They were a team. That was the bald guy with the scar on his head? The bald guy with the scar. And you know what they used to do as a game? They would both come (gasps) in a cup and then give it to somebody and see, like, whose genes won. So they're, like, sick, like, weird breeding fetish, like, I mean, that's, like, rape. Yeah, it's rape. you yeah. didn't agree to any of that, so they're terrible. But also the guy, because they okay, so I've only seen the first episode, but they show that guy in the beginning of the documentary, yeah. I guess foreshadowing, it, yeah. and he has that weird like side profile, like it's very like domestic terrorist vibes. Yeah, I mean these aren't. People How do they know each other? <laughs> I'm sure that like it's a mine, community? yeah, I'm sure like <laughs> mine's come along. You know what I mean? I mean, anytime you sit around, you're like, don't you wish you could just forcibly impregnate a thousand people so you'd have something? And they go, oh at God. least I'd have something. Um, but so basically they do like because of that case, in the United States where the like the doctor like was putting his own cum in there. There was the lady from Australia joins with all these moms and they kind of push for legal action against this guy because he created a public health problem through this accidental inbreeding. Yeah. thing. He goes to court in the Netherlands and. Um, and they basically say, like, what do you think about all... And he was... This is literally from his mouth. His, this was his big idea. How to stop all this inbreeding stuff. Everyone and their social media could have a little album to show that they are one of his children. That's a real thing he said in court. Which I don't think he was exactly off on. I think they should instead sort of have, like, a yellow pout. <laughs> <laughs> much like the Holocaust, and be immediately deported to Austin. I do think that all of his offspring should be rounded up and deported to Austin, Texas, where they belong. <laughs> the next generation of door guys at the mothership. Yeah, should be all put there. <laughs> it's because you are the offspring of raw meat Bitcoin guy. Yeah, you're kind of bred for the mothership. <laughs> you br- you're bred for the mothership. I think build a wall around Austin and Joe Rogan's compound. 
put a dome in there and just like let that be whatever it Wait, is. And Joe Rogan can afford to raise a thousand children. Yeah, it's like the it's <laughs> kind of show, perfect. If they all show up and we're like, "This is what you, I did this for you, Saya," and then it's like a thousand children just being delivered on his doorstep. They're all just riding caribou and ATVs onto his house. Oh my every god! Every day, like shave their head like a cult. Dude, wait. So did he get sentenced? He well, no. What what, what they decided is he, he worldwide. He's not allowed to donate any more sperm, and if he does every count, he has to pay a hundred thousand euros. That seems like really not a hard enough seems punishment. Seems like everyone was excited. I don't know if this is some fucking European shit. Everyone's like, they got him, and I was like. Kill him. Like, what are you talking about? He, like, essentially forcibly impregnated, like, 3,000 people. Dude, like, also, I was like, I was he like, already wasn't allowed to be donating sperm. He yeah. already got around it. You yeah, but I mean? if they catch him this time. He, technically, there was nothing wrong with him doing, like... No, but he deceived that They had the rules about, like, the only 25 donors at the clinic and yeah, stuff. Yeah, but he would do it, like, under different names. Like, if you just... Basically, part of the court case was someone... Um, uh, like assumed a fake identity and just hit him up on Instagram and asked, which is another thing he, he does. And then it showed that he's still do- donating, even though he publicly said that he's not. Damn. So, that so has of, he donated and gotten fined since the sentencing? I haven't looked into it. I, to be honest, I just wanted to get out. But but wow. yeah, that's another point. Is again, war crime. To create 3,000 more of these annoying who they're all like, I love my child. He, and I'm like, his dad is that guy. And also, that is your fault. Because I don't care what fucking play he was. If you went on a first date with this guy, first date. You seemed like, and then you pulled up the YouTube channel that's (laughs) and the woke. And he's also saying, worship your ancestors. See, that's like white supremacist dog whistle. What they figured out, all the YouTube videos are for the children. (gasps) Oh! No! Yeah, all the YouTube videos are life lessons to show his thousands of children. No! <laughs> yeah. He's, like, literally trying to build an army. Yeah, yeah he's, like, trying to build, like, a worship little ancestor, so he's, like, worship me. Yeah, he's, like, trying to build, like, a little cult. And he's, like, that's why he wants everyone to have, like, an elm woman. He's, like, basically, like, I am, I'm the man. I'm the man of a thousand children. I'm, like, a weird Viking guy. Dude. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. Yeah, he literally but was also, that is all right there. That's all right there on the tube. Yeah. I'm sorry if you saw the tube and you let him do it. You're you're just as good. Ga- like, if you let that... if Maddie, I'll put it to you this way. If you fucked that guy, love you to death, huge... There'd be a drop. There'd be a, are we okay? There'd be... This is post-YouTube watch. Yeah, the YouTube... YouTube hey, we've all charming gotten some lives, too. Yeah. If you post-YouTube... We'd really have we'd have a the talk. YouTube is fucking crazy. Can we pull up the YouTube on your laptop and see how many views it has and stuff? <laughs> yeah. Because if it has more subscribers than the podcast, I will kill myself. Yeah. And also, we should see if we can release our specials on his channel. <laughs> <laughs> we like hit him up and ask to collab after all this shit talk. It's also just like I think I, I've been I've, I've always been a curmudgeonly old guy, but I'm coming to uh, maybe just recently a few docs. My internal response is, you're a fucking idiot. It's not like, because I'm like, whoa, they took advantage of him. And I went, you know what, him fuck you? <laughs> you don't deserve to have a kid. That was <laughs> like my Christ. real thought. was like, if you saw that, it, 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 God was trying to put the barriers down because he was aware of your judgment. And you let Satan get right through the rightful trap that was set. And look what happens. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you engage in some fucking European witchcraft. <laughs> <laughs> this I is my work s- computer, and I really don't want to type in on YouTube. Hilarious. Guy yeah. with a thousand kids. What is his... Uh, oh, I don't have my phone. Um, Dude, I really am curious, though. Maybe I'll, okay, I'll get on my, on my phone here. Um, I'm sure it's... a Well, I mean, it's at least a thousand subs. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. I wonder what the kid. Honestly, the only maybe good thing to come out of this is you could do like a giant uh, uh, 
you could collect some data on nature versus nurture. You know what I mean? That is true. I was thinking that. Maybe the kids turn out okay. Yeah, because they. I think people are pretty malleable, and I think the kids will be fine. I also think that as well. Like if I'm being serious, all jokes aside, all jokes aside, the kids they they look they look like they have loving parents who went to a length to like you know what I mean. Oh, he even had a response to the misleading trailer. No way. It has fifty. See, this is the beautiful thing. He has seventeen thousand followers. Oh my God! What's his most viewed video? Shocking. No, no, popular. I watched part one of the Netflix doc. My response. He's got like 150. Dude. Why I'm a very good donor. <laughs> See, this is what's crazy about the internet is like he can just respond. You mean John He's Wayne? Like close to zero chance of inbreeding. No, there is. Yeah. What's also crazy is the fact that you would. It's like clearly exposed. You did all that, and then you're like, "Well, I'm going to create a YouTube video." Of my response. And it's like, why was he not charged retroactively for shit? Like that's not a crime. Men should not have unlimited cum. The men should not have Forget unlimited cum. Forget cutting off the also, top. You know what the problem? No one in Europe just has like a a crazy uncle. Like this the whole time I was like, why doesn't someone be like, yeah, come down here to my house and just punch him in the face, <laughs> like and just be like, hey, stop. Yeah, this Whatever is- this is, stop. Yeah, we are kind of getting to the core of like. Things we hate about America have a little bit of good in them. We're like, yeah. one, we would have just fucking beat this guy up or killed him. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. I mean, if we don't like, let like creative, sensitive artists flourish, but we don't really let weirdos flourish well, no, no, either. No, no, no. Stay, unless they have a gun, that's when that's their time to shine. <laughs> but but also, if I, I have to imagine if you did this to like a thousand people in the heartland, where they're like, but it would have been the opposite. They would have like liked the raw meat, but if they turn out, it's like my fucking you got my wife pregnant with the soul boy Antifa, but like they would have killed him. And they saw videos of him just like t- t- reading poems and like telling he's like wearing a scarf in Bushwick. Yeah, over there we're like he's an alt right weird influencer, and then over here they'd be like, he's gay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. How's he gonna come my wife if he's gay? <laughs> <laughs> you put gay come my wife. And then they'd, 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 the court case would be, and then he got shot forty thousand times. <laughs> And then literally every bullet in Texas emerged into this man's body. <laughs> Dude, how long ago was all like? How old are the kids now? Like, I, obviously, be they're a... privacy protected. They obviously, yeah. nobody's, you know, I mean, I, they don't talk about them in the documentary, I don't think. No. Like, it's only adults. But was this, like, recent? I, th- I think, uh, I mean, it was, like, going up until, like, 2015, <gasps> 2016. Jesus Christ. There's some recent little kids. They had, like, a they have, like, a meetup convention of, like, all the moms. And you know what's fucked weird. up, too? Yeah. Yeah, it's traumatizing to, like, have that be your dad and, like, have your moms have to sit you down and tell you that. It's maybe worse for it to be the number one trending documentary. <laughs> documentary on netflix <laughs> yeah. hey hey we also the documentary about how you're a weird prank by <laughs> by yeah. an incel basically if you're in the netherlands you go to class and you sit down and you're fucking 17 blonde classmates you're like which it's one just is the you? spider-man meme yeah like, yeah you're like it's all everyone the documentary probably made it a little worse yeah just to be like yeah there's my mom talking about how she was duped by my dad crazy romance story and uh yeah that's me dude i'm a big i'm a big uh weird power prank i mean they were terrible people like they they like were float so kenya had some like sperm burner program where they would fly like whoever wanted to donate sperm in european donors preferred and Ooh, they were ta- and they were in is a, it a private thing or that's like sponsored by the government i think it was actually sponsored by the government but they were in the group that's chat being crazy. like i want to bleach africa like that's <gasps> what they were actually saying yeah. him and the bald guy some of these other there's like a whole there was like a little community of people and they called it like oh. the mother they're like because they're like that's what they want to do they just like want to come all day and make money doing it yeah jesus christ nightmares yeah they sucked yeah that's yeah. like all jokes aside this guy's like a horrible person obviously horrific human baby. i mean it's like it's like sexual assault on like a like a industrial scale, it's like fucking insane. Yeah, he's he's like a a, a Walter White of of evil cum. <laughs> but he, but he doesn't know any chemistry. He only knows how to jerk he off. He just knows how to jerk off and lie to people. Because it's yeah. one thing if you're like he said he was a musician, but he's just like some loser and he fucks you and that feels violating. But what if you're raising his kid? Oh. And Dude. you're like, you gotta love the kid, but you're like, what's in you that, you know, and I think it is nature versus nurture, and I do think they're all in loving homes, and they'll be fine. But also, act of biological terrorism. Yeah. And the signs were all there. <laughs> you simply cannot trust a guy 
who's shirtless in nature going around, this is my travel blog. Get out. You have a blog. No, you should have been like a lot. You should basically bump into a sperm donor on the street. Yeah. It should be like, why are you helping that injured pigeon? And you're like, I don't know. Just what I do in between here and the hospital. Yeah, that's the guy And then the he's like, that- oh, I, and he's like, oh, you're having trouble with fertility? That's interesting because, you know, sometimes. Yeah, then, yeah. yeah, you don't want the guy that signed up at moreofme.com. No. Like- <laughs> everyone who wants more, it's a, it's it just goes back to everyone, everyone who hates themselves is awesome. Awesome. Everyone who loves themselves is a fucking idiot, and that's just that's just kind of a correct formula. Wait, what do you mean? Everyone who's like automatically like, oh my god, oh, I'm the best, usually yeah. sucks. People overestimate themselves and suck, or people under underestimate themselves and, and awesome. are awesome. Yeah, 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 hundred yeah, percent. And anyone who goes on moreme.com should, I mean, truly be like, oh, we're collecting your sperm and they're burning it and they're figuring out like an antibody, like a vaccine <laughs> that you give every woman that just allows their uterus to block. Like, you know how Republicans are like, the body can tell if it's rape. Just a lie. They should invent something where the body can tell if the dad was an alt-right influencer <laughs> and like the egg shuts down. Like, the it's egg- the same thing as the rape device. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when they like are studying like bacteria and they accidentally find the cure to cancer. Yeah, you know that's I mean? what it, I truly think it should be like like her egg should be like the Death Star and there's like various like <laughs> lights shooting all the sperm it's like, and it's like all going around like that should be done that guy, the dude. fact that there's 3,000 more of that dude walking around genuinely bummed me out <laughs> it genuinely made me and the and the fact that I saw on a global scale what I've witnessed my entire life which is absolute <laughs> loser morons by the virtue of being like conventionally attractive convince women that they were anything other than what if you put a pigeon brain in a person hilarious is it it was they were like i just want to in court hear his reasoning behind this and i'm like because he's a loser with nothing and if he tricks you and has a thousand kids he'd have something but he's a loser with nothing yeah i wonder who the fuck his parents are they gotta feel real bad you imagine that? There's yeah. got to be a mass apology of like, we don't know what we did to make a weirdo that <laughs> it's like essentially sort of pseudo raped like 3,000 people. Jesus. I yeah. mean, the Netherlands is over. Yeah, I mean, they had a the little map where it's like kid, 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 kid. And I didn't even know about that, but <laughs> Luke and Leia syndrome, where it is a real thing, they talk about in the documentary when half siblings, or it's just siblings in general who didn't grow up together, they don't know they're related, meet each other. They, all the similarities that you would have normally with your family, they think that's like romantic connection. They're like, we have so much in common. They're like, we just click so naturally. Oh my and God. it's because they like are, you know, the same person. You know? Oh, so they're almost more likely to fuck they each other. They are more that's likely insane, to fuck each dude. other. Because they even, and that even had, Jesus they show that already happening in the documentary with like an 11 year old and being like, I just really like like so and so. And they're like, well, it's not a, it's not going to happen because he's your half brother. Wait, they like, had to, yeah. Like, Oh no! All oh, these poor kids, dude. Yeah. So everyone, you have, you're like, I think it clicked, and you're like, yeah, probably because that would be like your brother and sister. That's fucking insane. I didn't know that was like a real thing, though. Like uh, yeah, Luke and Leia know. syndrome was like a real, like all this incest oh, category. Luke and Leia. Yeah, it's named after oh, the Star Trek because yeah, yeah. they're brother right. and sister, but they dude. have a crush on each other. Wow. Which is a crazy, you know. Everyone who's ever had a crush on a cousin has felt vindicated. They're like, okay, so that's not even how... That's like, that's just nature. <laughs> <laughs> Family's getting mad at me in the group chat. Sorry, I'm a human. Uh, <laughs> uh, but that was crazy. If you're one of these kids and you're gay, though, that's pretty good. Yeah, you're good to go. Yeah, in mean, the what's Netherlands, your- what's that, an 85% chance? So you're, <laughs> 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 you're pretty much there. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's borderline mandatory. Yeah, the guy was like, you put country- on those wooden clogs and those are, yeah, it's, it's done. This dude was like, the country's so gay. If I don't have a thousand kids, we're yeah, going to... There's, there's, yeah, there's like two chances of incest. It doesn't even happen. Dude. Yeah. I mean, that's like, I would leave the country, I think. You how, many, how many people are in the Netherlands? Uh, can we, we look can, it up? Yeah, let's Google it right now. And then um, we should do the math of a thousand kids worldwide or just in the Netherlands? A thousand kids, I believe, in the Netherlands. Jesus. I hope I'm not just talking out of my ass. It is a small country, though, right? I mean, it, yeah, way smaller than the United States. I mean, obviously. I mean, it's like, how many people are in the Netherlands? 
So seventeen million. Um, but that's like that's not New York, right? No, no, that's yeah. not New York. No, New York's like eight million. Yeah, I mean, it's like if New York and Chicago were probably put together. It's so funny too that we're like, yeah. can you imagine a small limited community where everyone fucks each other and swaps partners, and you don't know who's been with who? Stand up comedy. <laughs> Stand up comedy is this. Yeah, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, we are our own little inbred Netherlands. I, thing. I have a, you know, I've been checking the donor registry. I've been staying out, <laughs> keeping my nose clean. Yeah. Dude. You got to get burned a couple times That's and you're like, so you got to stay. Yeah. I was like, you with that article. When you're like, I can't go to that sperm donor. <laughs> it's like that with all comedians. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Guys, your Wi-Fi ain't fucking broken. This episode <laughs> is stopping right now, but it's going to continue on the Patreon where the fucking party is. So you know what's good for you? You get on there, too. We do or get some juicy stuff that we were like, this is best behind it's the paywall. too much for the to be free because, <laughs> listen, I've watched a lot of docs in my day. I know what the got CIA's capable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not just talking to you in the open anymore, all right? Usually, well, our apartment already looks like it's drum strike. It's perfect, perfect cover for them to come out with us. So, uh, patreon.com slash phone is in the bag. Come and join us over there. <laughs>